A while ago, I posted a video on YouTube, and in the video I showed you how you can get the ID of the last inserted or even edited item when we submit a form. In this video, I want to take it to the next level and play a little bit with the UI. So I want to show you how you can insert the record in a database. In this example, I'm using Dataverse, but it can be applied to anything. And then after that, as soon as it is inserted, I want the gallery to be refreshed and the newly inserted item be selected on the gallery. Let's see how we can do it. The setup that I have for this video is very simple. I just have a gallery here that is connected to a table called Sample Products in Dataverse. The only property that I've set here is the items, and it shows two fields that Basically, these are the only fields that I have here, product name and unit price. And I put two icons here that I will get back to them. On the other side, I added another screen that inside this screen, I just have a form. And that form, the data source is the same table, sample products. But for the item, I picked the gallery one dot selected item. So if I come back to this screen and I select something, and after that I click on this edit icon, it should take me to the other screen. Same thing applies to the plus to add new record. But when I click on this edit icon, first it takes the form to the edit mode and then it navigates. While on the other side, when I click on the plus, it sets the form to the new mode and then navigates. So naturally, when I go to the other screen by clicking this edit button, when I submit, it updates the selected record and come back to this screen. While when I click on this plus, the edit form is gonna accept anything that I enter as the new record and insert it into this table. So let's see what we have and what we don't have. Before we move on, I want to make a little bit of change to this gallery by changing the template field so I want to somehow highlight the background of the selected item. To do that, for each template, I say set the fill color to if this item dot is selected. So if it is selected, use the same thing, right? The only difference is that if it is selected, set the opacity, for example, to point. So it gives you a gray color in the background, right? Something like this. At the moment, this is the selected color. Let me just save it and run it. And as you can see, if I click on any one of them, the item that I click on it is selected and the highlight shows you which item is selected. Now, if I click on this edit now, remember the name is called new item unit price 45. If I click on this guy, it takes me here and it shows me the unit item, whatever that I have here. I call it, for example, unit item two, and I click on submit. It brings me back to this screen, but you see the selected item stays the same way. While if I click on this plus, I can have my newly inserted item. The unit price, let's make it 100, and I click on Submit. You see, this item that was selected still stays selected while I want my new item be the selected items so the user can easily spot it in the gallery. Let's see how we can do that. Now, one more thing that I forgot to explain it to you is that when I click on Submit, it just submits the form. And for the form, if it is successfully submitted, I navigate to the other screen on success. So if there is an error, it says here and shows the error. Let's see how we can handle this guy. The secret is in a property called default. So if the gallery is selected, if you pick the default property, which is blank the moment that you add the gallery to the screen, but whatever the record, whatever the item you refer to in the default property will become the selected item. All right, so if this is the case, I can go back to the other screen. So right after the form is submitted, we don't wanna do anything else. We only want to proceed if the submit is successful. So I pick the form and on success, before I navigate, I go to the beginning of it 
and I say, create a variable. I call it var last submitted. And I put the form, I call it edit form at edit product dot last submit. I capture the last submitted record and I put it in that variable, right? Now, when I do that, I want to have this value, which is the newly inserted or updated. Regardless if we do insert or update, last submit refers to the same thing. I say, go to the first screen, set the default field of this gallery to the var last submitted. Let me just save it and that's it. And let's see if it works. So let me just run it. I add another record and the name is going to be Ali Reza. Unit price is going to be 10. And I click on submit and bingo. And just to make sure we didn't break anything when we were doing the edit, let me just pick this one. For example, I click on edit. I, instead of triple A, I make it triple B and I click on submit and it should go back and select exactly the same record and make the updates. Let's add another item here. Let's go to the very first one. And then I click on add. I give it another name, another test. Unit price is gonna be 200 and I click on submit. Again, the right product is selected. And uh, hold on a second, did you like this video? If you haven't, please go ahead and push that like button. It's going to help me, my channel, and everybody else who is interested in this kind of content. Regardless, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you soon in the next video.